Hey gang, thanks for joining us here at the program. Um, for the long time viewers, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. This is episode three, and if you remember the teaser from last time, today's band that we're going to talk about, Bad Religion, with their album, Suffer. Um, so yeah, picked up my first Bad Religion album, and I believe it was... 89 or 90 whenever no control came out um picked it up loved it uh, it was just kind of along the same lines of everything i was listening to back then and still i have not been able to find it on vinyl for a, a decent price um but this i did it's still in print and so yeah i got it it's about 30 minutes long it's a pretty short album but it it just kicks ass um yeah can't go wrong with it if you have not listened to bad religion this is the album to get well it's one of them also like i said like no control i like gray race I like stranger than fiction wasn't too big fan of stranger of stranger than fiction when it first came out um, but it grew on me after a while. And they're a band that I know everyone loves them and they're a really influential band. But for me, I like, I love probably about half of their stuff. Um, they're good. They put out a bunch of good stuff, but like, as far as like love, 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 like to where, you know, I'm going to have an essential bad religion collection it's not going to be everything um because they have like good songs on stuff but just not the whole album but still big bad religion fan love this album hopefully i'll be getting some more of their stuff from the missus for christmas and i guess we'll find out because i don't know when i'm going to be putting these out it might be before christmas Christmas, Christmas, sorry, I've only been saying that word for 40-something years. Don't expect me to have it down yet. Might be getting some for Christmas, might not. We'll see. So we might slip in some more Bad Religion album reviews, talk about later on. Uh, I only saw them like once or twice. Um, I know one time was at this bar, Tipitina's. They put on a great show. Uh, it was super packed. This was, I don't know, early to mid 90s. Um, and I remember just like being in the pit. It was super rough, like just getting fucking slammed around. And I was wearing uh, combat boots, I believe. My laces came untied, whether it was on nose or on my Converse, which are the only things of worn since i was like 15 um which leads to fallen arches and so anyway my laces came untied and i was like in the pit so i kind of just backed up right to the edge of the pit and i go down and i'm like trying to tie my shoes like super super quick because there's just i don't know like dozens of people just thrashing each other back and forth and i'm tying my shoes and i kind of realized that nobody is near me like I've got like about a foot or two of distance and then I look and I see like a pair of boots facing me and there's this dude just standing there short guy and but like stocky like just muscle it's like this it's like this Danzig guy you know like he's like short but just swole not wearing a shirt and he's just standing in front of me, like, with his arms like this, just, like, blocking it, being, like, a roadblock or a barricade for, like, everybody going on around me. And I was like, that was really cool. Like, yeah. Um, so sometimes punk shows can be really good and looking out for each other. Um, 
not always because I've had some other times where I just got the hell beat out of me. But it was all in good fun and for the music. So yeah, well, that concludes this episode of Vital Vinyl. Bad Religion. Let's see who we got next time so that you can have something to look forward to. Whoa. We got a couple of albums by a band called The Beatles. Maybe you've heard of them. <laughs> Get it? Because you have. All right. So that'll be next time. Looking forward to seeing you then.